If the Prime Minister's ping-pong wasn't going well today, his corrosive public relations battle is tying him in far worse knots. ITV News has been told by two separate sources that the Prime Minister, shortly after he'd agreed to a second lockdown in October last year, did indeed shout this inside his Downing Street office, that he would let the bodies pile high in their thousands rather than order a third lockdown, words that led to damaging new headlines and words that the Prime Minister categorically denied today. No, uh, but uh, again, I think the important thing I think people want to, uh, us to get on and do as a, a government is to make sure that the, the lockdowns work and, uh, and uh, they have. The latest incendiary leak comes in the wake of the bruising battle between the Prime Minister and his former adviser Dominic Cummings. Not an easy day for the UK's top civil servant, appearing in front of MPs and doing his best not to add fuel to an already raging fire. Is there to be an inquiry into today's leakage of the alleged statement by the Prime Minister about thousands of bodies being piled high in the streets. This isn't something um, I, I've looked at today. An investigation hasn't started, but um, um, it, it, that's something I'll have to uh, take away, look into, discuss with the Prime Minister about whether it's something we, we need to conduct a, an investigation into. The government has told families bereaved by COVID that a wider public inquiry into the pandemic is not appropriate right now. For Lobby Akinola, who lost his father, any suggestion the death toll didn't matter would be acutely painful. For me, it's the most devastating thing that's ever happened in my life, and it's something I have to deal with for the rest of my life. And to have the idea that the people who are in charge, the people who are supposed to be protecting us, didn't care is heartbreaking. In the Commons, Labour was adding to the pressure. Will the Minister apologise for the stomach-churning comments that have come out today and urgently announce a public in inquiry into the government's handling of the pandemic. Because this is all about conduct, character and decency. The idea that he would say any such thing, I find incredible. I was in that room. I never heard language of that kind. Which is not quite the same as saying the Prime Minister didn't say it. The allegations are coming at Boris Johnson thick and fast and are proving increasingly difficult to just bat away. Romilly Weeks, News at 10.